Uh -huh. I am going to introduce myself. I am Mr. Adil Mahmoud Ahmed Al Amin. I am post graduated from University of Khartoum, Faculty of Science, at 1987. What I am going to present now here is a part of a philosophy of great philosopher of the Sudan, Mr. Mahmoud Muhammad Taha, who have been executed by President Nimer regime at 18 January 1985. This philosophy is uh, one of the great philosophy for the new era, modern thoughts. It's called the monotheism of Ambers theory. According to background, um, scientific background I have, this uh, theory will be at the category of physical chemistry, exactly quantum mechanics. The theory name, as I said before, is called the monotheism of inverse theory. It states that all representatives of the universe are just different modes of frequencies. And now we have a small introduction. As we now know, different elements of inverse are of the same origin, but they are different in character and feature. These differences are due to variation of quantity an arrangement of least elements they are composed, that is to say the electron, the proton, and the neutron. So elements of universe are very quantitatively, not qualitatively. This is a small introduction. Now we enter directly to the second step. According to Einstein equation, which defines the relation between energy and mass with respect to velocity of light as follows. Energy is a matter of high velocity, which we can sense but not see. On the other hand, mass is a matter of a relatively low velocity, which we can sense and see. The theory of monotheism of inverse gives further derivation to Einstein equation. According to wave theory of light, the velocity of light has two variables, frequency of wave and wavelength. These variables are multiplied by each other. If you square them and substitute them by velocity of light as Einstein equation, we will have a new equation. This equation satisfies the monotheism of the inverse theory. And we can apply a definition for energy and mass as follows. Energy is a matter of certain frequency, which we can sense but not see, while mass is a matter of certain frequency, which we can sense and see. Here we come to the calculation. We find Einstein equation, where E energy equal mass multiplied by velocity of light square, equation number one. Question number two is wave theory of light equation, where C is the velocity of light, lambda is the wavelength, mu is the frequency. This is equation number two. Squaring equation number two, we have C squared equal between two brackets, lambda multiplied by mu squared. This is equation number three. So with this distribution of equation number three at equation number one will give us a new equation. Energy equal mass between two practices, lambda, mu, square. This equation satisfies the monotheism of inverse theory. The monotheism of the inverse equation is satisfied a new, a new definition for the relation between energy and mass. Note, the wavelength lambda is a scalar quantity. So we neglect it and we take frequency as a parameter. Now, now we are going to a conclusion. I think the loss of Mr. Mahmoud Muhammad Taha is a loss not for the Sudan nation, which extends 7,000 years of civilization from Kush but it's a loss for the humanity itself. This man 
have new thoughts for new era. I thanks and give a great thanks for all those who consider the thoughts of this man. Ohio University in the United States of America, who are celebrated every year at 19 January, the memorial of this man. Thanks you for listening and thanks Mr. Mubarak for broadcasting me.